President Trump is facing allegations that his businesses violate a provision in the Constitution, known as the Emoluments Clause. Emolument basically means any salary, earnings, or profit that come from one's job. So what is this little-known clause? It comes from Article 1, Section 9, Clause 8 of the Constitution, and is sometimes referred to as the Title of Nobility Clause. It reads, No title of nobility shall be granted by the United States, and no person holding any office of profit or trust under them shall, without the consent of the Congress, except of any present emolument, office, or title, of any kind whatever, from any king, prince, or foreign state. So the provision not only bans the creation of nobility, like in England, but also bars U.S. officials from accepting presents or payments from foreign governments, in an attempt to ward off potential bribery or corruption. There have been a few emolument exceptions in the past, specifically debated and authorized by Congress. A snuff box given to Benjamin Franklin by the King of France, and a pearl necklace that the Imam of Muscat gifted to President Martin Van Buren. But the Emoluments Clause remains largely untested in court. A liberal watchdog group aims to change that. The Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington is preparing a lawsuit to challenge Trump's ownership of buildings and hotels that accept payment from foreign governments. The Trump Organization leases office space to state-owned companies and rents hotel rooms and suites to foreign embassies. The group says that is a violation of the Emoluments Clause. Trump and his lawyer disagree. They say that the 18th century clause shouldn't be interpreted in that way. These people are wrong. This is not what the Constitution says. Paying for a hotel room is not a gift or a present, and it has nothing to do with an office. It's not an emolument. The Trump Organization has tried to ward off conflicts by promising to donate profits from foreign government guests and customers to the U.S. Treasury but the president has resisted giving up his ownership stakes in the organization or setting up a blind trust, something ethics groups have been pushing for since his election.